Hi there, it's Peter here. You're watching the GreenSock 101 free online course for front-end developers and designers where you can learn a lot about GreenSock API and web animations in 60 minutes. In this video, you will learn how to stagger animations, how to use the stagger from, stagger to, stagger from to, and also how to cycle through some of the attributes. Now let's have a look how we could bring the buttons at the end of the timeline so they appear in a sequence one by one with a slight delay. We'll use the stagger method for that. At the end of the timeline, we'll create a new twin, but we'll use the stagger from, okay? So we wanna stagger all the elements from a certain position. The elements we're gonna target are buttons. I've already created this variable above so you know why it appears here. So it's buttons, the duration will be 0.2. We want this to be pretty quick. And then inside of the object, we'll animate the X 200. So we'll animate from the 200 offset position. We'll set a simple power one, ease out. And outside of that object, we'll include the stagger delay, okay? So this is 0.1 for now. So the 0.1 is the delay between the individual twins. And if we review this in a browser, we'll see the buttons coming into the view at the end of the timeline with the 1 .1, uh, 0 0.1 delay, okay? This is how you use the stagger from, the same method we could use for stagger to, okay? If you want to animate the elements to certain positions, so let's say minus 20, so at the end of the timeline, the buttons will shift 20 pixels to the left with the same offset. We'll save that and we'll see the buttons visible and then they just shuffle 20 pixels to the left. That's using the stagger to method. And we can also use the stagger from to. Okay, so if we use stagger from to, then we would need to include a second set of element attributes. So let's say, we want to animate it from auto alpha zero and X 10. And we want to I'll just put it on the next line. So we have it nicely in the view. And let's bring this down as well. Okay, so we've got these are the from vars, these are the two vars. So auto alpha zero X 10, we're starting from, and then we'll have X minus 20 and auto, auto alpha one, just to make them visible. And if we review this in a browser, we'll see the buttons fading in from right, one after the other. Okay, so from to, to or from, all method can be used with the stagger method. Now let's revert back to a simple stagger from twin, and we'll have a look how we could use the cycle and make the buttons appear. One will come from the left, one from the right, left, right, and so on. So if we wanna cycle through this, GreenSock has a very nice, very simple way how you can, how you can twin from two different sides or how you can cycle through two different attributes. Okay, so we'll include cycle here, cycle, and pass in the object of arrays that we want to cycle through. So we wanna cycle the X and that will have an array of the two values. So the first one will be 50, the second one will be minus 50. So first element will animate from X 50, the second one from X minus 50 and so on. The E's will be the same, but we, will, we want to also use the auto alpha zero so it fades in, and if we review this in the browser, we should see the buttons coming from two different sides, the odd and even using different values. You can also cycle through multiple attributes, so instead of just animating the X, we could duplicate after the comma and animate the scale and we'll change the first item to be double the original size and the second item to be half of the size. And we'll see what happens in the browser. 
as you can see, one item is coming from double the size, the other one from the half size. I'll change it to one second and the delay to 0 0.5. So it's much easier to see what's happening. Okay, double the size, half size, double, half, and so on. Pretty cool, huh? We'll keep exploring the GreenSock API in the following video. But if you want to download the working files and follow me step by step, and also watch the whole course without the annoying YouTube ads, then hop onto my website and sign up for free. The link is in the description and I'll see you in the next video.